If you're wondering why I've been staring through the peephole, I'm trying to get a look at this guy who's coming over to Penny's. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. He's just in her history class. They're working on a project together. I don't even know why I care. You know what? I don't care. You mean you don't care? <laughs> This is silly. I have nothing to worry about. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, statistically speaking, I'm sure you have something to worry about. What do you mean? Well, if we assume that what, your looks are average, yeah. right off the bat, 50% of men on Earth are more attractive than you. <laughs> That's 1.5 billion handsome lads standing by waiting to rain on your parade. <laughs> Yeah, but this isn't just about looks. I'm, I'm way above average in a lot of other things. Not height, vision, athleticism, or ability to digest dairy products. <laughs> I'm talking about important things, like emotional maturity. You were just spying on your girlfriend through a peephole. <laughs> I liked it better when you thought I wasn't here. I'm not saying you don't have attractive qualities. Your choice of friends is impeccable. <laughs> now, you're a good sleeper. Yeah, and last but not least, you buy the grapes I like. <laughs> you're a real catch compared to some snoring guy with a fridge full of lousy grapes. None of this matters. I trust that Penny cares about me and nothing's gonna happen with this guy. Well, unless, of course, he's a skilled hypnotist. <laughs> what? While unlikely, it's still a statistical possibility. She might be performing sexual acts with him and not even know it. Now you're just being ridiculous. You know, am I? My mind's a mysterious thing, Leonard. He could be having the time of his life while she thinks she's a chicken pecking for corn.